Lesson number eight, genetically engineered insulin. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the production of insulin using genetic engineering. The date was the 14th of October, 1980, in the New York Stock Exchange. The launch of a small biotechnology company called Genetech sparked frantic business. Its share price rocketed from $35 to $88 within the first 20 minutes of trading. At the end of the day, each Genetech share was worth $71.25. Why was there so much interest in a four-year-old Californian company specializing in genetic engineering? Two years previously, scientists at Genetech had isolated the human genes which carry the code that enables particular cells of the pancreas to produce the hormone insulin. They had learned how to transfer the genes from these cells into bacterial cells. The bacterial cells had been genetically engineered to contain human insulin genes. The genes continued to control the production of insulin even though they had been moved from one type of cell, a pancreatic cell, to another type of cell a bacterial cell. When bacterial cells multiply, the genes which have been transferred into them also multiply. Bacterial cells multiply very rapidly and large numbers of cells soon build up. In the case of bacterial cells genetically engineered to contain the human insulin genes, this means large amounts of insulin can be made very quickly. The conditions inside huge fermenters encourage the rapid multiplication of bacteria. The fermenters are filled with a solution of all the substances the bacterial cells need to grow. In the case of bacterial cells genetically engineered to produce insulin genes, the insulin the cell makes is released into the solution. It is separated from the solution, purified and packaged, ready for use. Why should we want to transfer insulin genes from the cells of the human pancreas to bacterial cells? Insulin controls the level of sugar in our blood. Some people do not produce enough insulin and suffer from diabetes. Daily injections of insulin control the condition. Before genetic engineering, people suffering from diabetes depended on insulin sourced from cows and pigs. This was unacceptable to vegetarians and people with certain religious beliefs. It was expensive and sometimes caused allergies. All of these problems were overcome when genetically engineered insulin became available to treat diabetes. It is cheap and safe to use because chemically it is the same as insulin our cells produce naturally. By 1982, genetically engineered insulin was in general use. Genetech's achievement opened the way for the large-scale production of medicines using the techniques of genetic engineering. The medicines are reliable, relatively cheap, and in the case of insulin, more suitable for the human patient.